Good. It's a completing the square question. So this is question one, just for three marks as a starter. Um, there are, again, there are a number of different methods for completing the square. For, for simplicity, I'm just going to stick with one of them. And, I, and it's the, the most the basic way of doing it, the simplest way of doing it, is to say, actually, I want that to be the other side. Um, is to say that we're just going to compare coefficients. We want x squared plus 12x plus 1 to look like x minus p squared plus q. So just to keep it simple, we'd expand this, see what that looks like. Really careful about multiplying out a bracket with only two things in it. But this is as if you're multiplying x minus p by x minus p. And so you'd have x squared, then you'd have minus px minus another px, and then you'd have minus p times minus p, so plus p squared, and then you've got plus q. Okay. It's, it's really important to be careful with that bracket. Now we're comparing the two sides of this equation, and uh, if we look at this, we've got 1x squared, on both sides. So that's great, that's all sorted. If we compare the x's, we've got minus 12x over there and minus 2px over there. So when we compare that, we're going to say that minus 12 equals minus 2p. If minus 12 equals minus 2p, then p must equal This is where you divide minus 12 by minus 2 in your head and say... Oh, it's just uh, 6, really. 6. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so that gets us P quickly. And then if we look at the numbers, we've got a plus 1 there. <coughs> and this is a common mistake. You've got to remember, the number bit isn't just the Q at the end. It's all the bit that doesn't involve X. So plus 1 over there is going to be the same as plus p squared plus q. So comparing the bits, we're going to say that 1 equals p squared plus q, which might be tricky, except we know what q Can't is. Oh, we know what p is. p is 6 from that bit. So 1 is 36 plus q, p squared. So q is negative 35. Um, and the question didn't say find p and q, it said express that in the form x minus p squared plus q. So we're going to finally say that we've got x squared minus 12x plus 1 is x minus 6 squared minus 35. Yes. Plus.